Logarithmic equations, question 3. Find domain of the following functions. Part A is f of x equals to log 3 of x squared plus 1. And B is g of x equals to log to the base 2 of 5 to the power of x. C is g of x equals to log to the base 2.5 of 10 to the power of 0.5x. And D is g of x equals to log. If nothing is given in the base, it is assumed to be 10 log to the base 10 of square root x, right? Part C and D is for you to do. Try to understand the concept and do these as practice problems, correct? So let's start with part A. Now, as you've learned, the argument for the log should always be positive. So here it is x square plus 1. Now, x squared plus 1, I think, is always positive. x squared is a positive number, right? And 1 is also positive. So, it is always positive, irrespective of any value of x. Even if you graph it, kind of, on a graph paper, it will look like this. x squared is a graph which touches x-axis. When we say 1, then it moves or translates 1 unit up, right? So, you have a graph something like this. And you can see, for all values of x, your function x squared plus 1 is positive, right? And therefore, the solution or the domain for this function is that x belongs to real numbers. So that is the domain of this function. And this can also be written as, it can also be written as, from minus infinity to plus infinity. That is to say that there is no restriction at all on this particular function, okay? It's a good example to show that you can have log functions without any restriction or with a domain of all real numbers, correct? Now, let's do part B, right? Now, part B here is also kind of very typical example. Now, here we have g of x equals to log to the base 2 with argument of 5 to the power of x. Now, we say 5 to the power of x. Let's visualize this. 5 to the power x, can it ever be negative? I don't think so. Okay, let me make a rough sketch of this. So if I take some exponential function and its power 5 to the power of x, howsoever the value be, it will look kind of like this, right? It is always positive. So this function will always be positive and therefore the domain here will be x belongs to real numbers or I could write this as from minus infinity to plus infinity just as the last time. So there could be many functions, many logarithmic functions which have no restriction in their domain, right? x squared does the magic here. It makes all negative numbers as positive and the exponential functions, their output is always positive, correct? That also does the magic and therefore we see that log of these functions will have no restriction. Now we have two problems for you. Well, don't go with these. These are not your answers. You need to figure it out, okay, exactly and reason what is the domain of your function. C is g of x log to the base 2.5 10 to the power of 0.5x and d is g of x equals to log. If nothing is mentioned here, it means log to the base of 10 of square root x. Perfect. So move ahead. We have one more question to go for the domain and then we are going to solve logarithmic equations. Thank you.